I think is so cool. Hey guys, I recently picked up a not new item at all from Doc Ondars, but something I've never personally purchased, and that is the lightsaber sheath. Now I'm going to talk about all the details and my overall thoughts about this piece, but I do want to show you what I was using before I picked this up. So as you probably know, when you build your own lightsaber at Savi's, as you're leaving, they hand you this um, lightsaber sheath. Now this one, it's crazy. I didn't realize it until I got the new one, but this one is so flimsy compared to the one that you can purchase at Doc Ondar's. Now it did work really well for my husband and I. We've used it so much and as you can see, Ooh, it's just like in really bad shape and we decided we were due for an upgrade. Now this entire like bottom half portion is all padded to protect your blade and it does have the little drawstring to make sure it's not going anywhere. But as you'll see, the strap is very basic. It's thin. There's no padding. Um, it is adjustable, which is good. But um, yeah we needed something new and we wanted to do it before we went to the most recent lightsaber meetup because we were bringing like three lightsabers so without further ado let's get into the review so this lightsaber sheath is um, made of a canvas material it is so much thicker than the one that i just showed you and it's really nice it's very like detailed and kind of worn looking and you've got some like um exterior pockets which is so cool you've got like some fraying this is all supposed to be there by the way and you've got another pocket here this will be good for just any little accessories you need to bring like i don't know batteries or something and you got this kind of cool little signage i don't know um and then on the back side you have some arabesh which reads force wielder i i really like that part now this was 49.99 at doc on Dars. it was actually sold on the shop disney website at one point um the listing is still there but it says sold out so hopefully they'll bring it back again in the future but um let's look at this strap because this strap oh my gosh makes such a big difference it is adjustable like the free one at savvy's it's much thicker and you've got this padded bit which is so soft and squishy and it really helps for when you're walking around batu all day carrying your lightsaber like it's just much more comfortable and I'm going to show you the comparison between the straps too. Look at the the width difference. I myself, even when I'm using like backpacks and, and purses every day, like I find that thicker straps are better for support and they're not going to dig in as much. And like I said, um, this one has this nice padding, which is awesome. It's also adjustable. Um, so I really like that. You also have the... Um, foam padding in the whole bottom portion for your blade so it says nice and safe and this one it doesn't have a drawstring but it has this um, magnetic snap closure so it folds over which is really nice and I just used this for the first time on Batu this month along with my husband and it made the biggest difference he was carrying around three of them at one point because I brought mall sabers so obviously I needed to have two of these and then he had his own for Count Dooku's, which Count Dooku's does fit in this um, sheath, believe it or not. I know it has the curved um, hilt. I don't think this closed fully, but it closed for the most part, so it was totally fine. But yeah, I think this is definitely worth investing in, especially if you are obsessed with lightsabers like I am, and if you bring your lightsabers often to the parks, it's a great way to carry them around. Let me know if you have any questions about this, and if you have any other way that you like to carry your lightsabers when you visit Galaxy's Edge. Anyway, I hope this review helped you and I will see you soon. May the force be with you.